first strike of Amazon workers in Italy consumers asked not to buy from online retailer all day. This post received a score of 13,000, with an up-vote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Rome, March 22, between 30,000 to 40,000 Amazon workers were staging a one-day strike on Monday to demand better conditions from the online retail giant. It is the first such strike in Italy to involve the whole Amazon supply chain, including its hubs and its delivery drivers. The strike was called by the Filt C. Gill, FIT CISL and New Il Trasporti Unions. The striking workers have called on Italian consumers to show solidarity by not making purchases from Amazon on Monday. Answer. Till Amazon has over 30,000 employees just in Italy alone. Damn they are big. They are Skynet. Clicked. Brain immediately stopped caring. Because that site is shit at conveying its point. Here's a website with a vaguely interesting picture. And clicking on it you'll end up with a 12 megabytes PDF. Just fuck right off mate. Back in the day we called those landmines. Isn't that the shortest article ever? Why do they strike? What do they demand? The article says nothing. Here is one that provides a bit more perspective. It's weird because I was just talking to my wife about this phenomena. Instead of just saying the news to people who are following the story they provide search engine friendly data pools of all of the context that no one is going to end up reading. With old newspapers editors had a value in compressing the sizes of articles so they took up less space. I could have read an entire newspaper in the time it took me to read some of these pointless mega articles on the topic. It's the culture of talking a lot but saying very little. You can use only few words but say a lot, it's just not popular for some reason. It honestly is built into education. It's very rare for students to be rewarded for communicating all points in the shortest or easiest to interpret way. It's all about minimum page, word count. I always hated writing, fluff, to reach an arbitrary minimum requirement. Luckily that went away in grad school where being concise is actually valued, like when writing a manuscript. It gave me a lifelong hatred of English class and creative writing. I had to come up with ridiculous bullshit to make papers four times longer than they needed to be. That's not how I communicate though. I'm very matter of fact and hate fluffing my writing. You can concisely sum up pretty much any high school English topic in under two pages. It's bullshit that schools don't allow that. Today, the 22nd of March, The employees that make up the supply chain of the American giant, from warehouse men to workers in the sorting center, up to employees in transport, will unite to demand more rights and protections. In all, the demonstration is expected to involve about 40,000 workers, including employees of Amazon Italia Logistica warehouses, those of Amazon Transport Italia, and employees of subcontracted companies that provide services to the multinational. The workers are also asking for better negotiation of work shifts, as well as the stabilization of fixed-term contracts and temporary workers. Amazon assigns routes to delivery service providers who in turn assign them to their couriers based on their working hours. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.